Mayapur is the headquarter of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. We have a community of thousands of devotees living here and millions of pilgrims come to this holy place every year. Here in the back, you see the TUVP, one of the largest temple projects in the world. And when this TUVP is finished, many more pilgrims will come. Sridhar Mayapur is surrounded by beautiful nature and rivers and it has a unique history of Lord Chaitanya himself walking down the streets, distributing his love of God. But Sridhar Mayapur has a problem. And that is... The good thing on the camera is it has a frame and we can absolutely choose what we show you and what not. But if we zoom out of the camera, then garbage. we see the problem. Next to the street, garbage is everywhere. Burning garbage is a problem. This is a problem. No one likes it. Iskon Mayapur is already doing a good job to keep their campus clean. But outside Iskon campus, the understanding of how to deal with the garbage is not developed and a proper system is not in place. People throw garbage everywhere, next to the street, in the fields, right out of their houses and in the holy rivers. Once the TUVP is concluded, it is estimated that between 60 and 200,000 people will visit Mayapur every single day. In the absence of a garbage management system, a few devotees created a community called Mayapur Clean and Green. Every day a team of three workers, supervised by Murari Mohini Mataji, take to the streets of Mayapur with the purpose to collect the garbage and take it to the appropriate places, to establish a waste recycling system and to educate the population on waste separation. They are cooking with this water. And this is a Hulargad colony. There is uh, so many houses here, maybe 100 or 200. We had an agreement f with a few of them that we teach them how to separate the garbage, but most of them, 90%, they don't understand and we have to keep coming. They think it's easier, just throw it here. They just throw it in the banks of the river or some of them also burning it. And we continue with them explaining how it would be better if we have a system. You packing, packing on this side, I take. Thank you, Matishi. Hi. This is Sambo Prabhu. We explain Matishi this problem. Okay, eight minutes. আমরা আজব একদিন দুদিন পর পর এসে জায়গাটা নিয়ে যাব মাতাজি চাইছে যে হরি বো মাতাজি মাতাজি দাস বিন এটা ফেল বেগেন মাতাজি লাস্ট টাইম উই ফুল ক্লিন দিস এন্ড উই পুট দিস দাস বিন বাট দে দাস বিন ইজ এমটি Yes, that's in SMT and this is again dirty. So we have to... What did you come? Yeah, we're trying to help him, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. We want to put this in your shop. This is uh, for teaching community. We found so many batteries in the river. Yes, but this will be closed. Open. So here, okay? Oh, here. Okay. When we go to the houses or we clean in the river, we find very dangerous things. One of them is the batteries. So one battery can pollute 600,000 liters of water. We put the sign and we put this battery collection. Also, we have another for mercury lamps and medicine. So the way we can take these dangerous items out of the, the nature. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, oh gift, gift. Oh, gift. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you name? They are very, uh, you know, we are doing this service almost for free. <laughs> and they, if we don't come every day, they complain, but how can we come every day? <laughs> Why did you make it to your occupation to clean Shrida Mayapur? Um, just a humble servant and I heard from my Guru Maharaj, uh, Jabataka Swami, that uh, Mayapur is not an ordinary place, we all know. But it was especially created by Srimati Radharani herself for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. I always imagine how she created this with so much love and how we can keep it beautiful and even beautify it uh, more. Because that is our duty, to beautify the holy dam. Mm. That is that. One of my main motivations is also our children. <laughs> I have a little Sham, he's six years old and I can't imagine how it's going to be the world when he's big, uh, like me, what kind of water he will drink, what kind of air he will breathe, what kind of food they will have. So you see, our children are so precious. What, what do you think about all this? This? Mm -hmm. This? Um, not nice. We take all plastic. We take in Swarupgan. Like this, they do not agree, so... <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we cannot force them and we can, we are not able to to take everything. <laughs> it would be... This is actually uh, our government's duty to provide a proper system. That would be the best solution. The Mayapur Clean and Green team can afford only three workers right now. They are currently covering an area of approximately five kilometers around Mayapur Dam. To make a real impact, they would need at least 100 full-time workers collecting garbage and most important, a massive education program for children who can actually learn new good habits and also teach to their parents. Thank you, Mataji. Mataji, she is very nice. Always take care of the waste. It's dry waste is always separate, neatly. Uh, our best customer. <laughs> the place looks clean. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, how much this plate? It's uh, 100 piece. Uh, 70. Oh, this is a 70 paisa plate, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is a egg piece, uh, egg rupee, one piece, one rupee. One piece. But one we piece. can try 100 piece, 100 rupees. But 100 piece, 70. 70 rupees. Yes. So the difference here, Prabhu, that this plate cannot be uh, com compost. And uh, this is becoming a problem in my poor dam. So Prabhu agree when he finishes this plate, he's going to change to Sharpata. Yeah. Right? To go Yosho. Because he wants to keep the place clean. But other places, they don't mind and they just keep in this plate. This is also very unhealthy. Because when you put hot food here, it becomes cancerogenic. And this is very harmful. So thank you Prabhuji for changing. Haripo. Also, they are in need of bicycle flatbed rickshaws to transport the collected dry waste for proper disposal. The rickshaw we are using, we are borrowing from these devotees. We want Mayapur to be like this, everywhere. Yeah. So part of our service is recycling. So we, we are teaching every shop to keep all these clean wrappers and then we 
take them to the recycling place in Swarup Ganj. I like that garden. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Packet all. You see? Come. We put this temporary dustbin, but very few people use it. Yeah, we need an official dustbin because of they are consuming tea, uh, chips, all biscuits inside the boat. So the boat needs dustbin and also here dustbin because you can see the garbage is gone in the river. Because we don't have a proper system to collect this garbage, this is all coming into our holy rivers. And this is a big garbage here, a big boat. <laughs> they need to remove this as well. Trash cans for dry waste every 50 meters would help but also volunteers to educate the people how to use the trash cans are needed. Recycling uh, collection center. We we can sell these things here. They buy plastic for like one kilo, twenty rupees. Bottles one kilo, ten rupees. And they are shipping this to the factories in Kolkata. Five kilo. So we sold 11 kg of clean plastic and 7 kg of bottle. 5 kg. 5 kg. And it probably will get 280. And this uh, 200, 300 is a uh, one day of Prabhuji labor. <laughs> but this, it took so much time to collect, uh, days, 10 days. And This plastic sell from Kolkata, not sell this side through. Yes, yes. Kasra. We help cleaning, okay? Okay, thank you, Mantis. What is she saying? She said this uh, plastic, uh, they, they come from Kolkata, they buy the good plastic. And the bad plastic is, is it feels like paper, like this. Uh, they don't care, they just throw it here. So, yeah, we are helping now cleaning. And in the future, with the proper technology, this can be recycled as well. So now we will do quick cleaning, 10 minutes cleaning. Mati, do you want to help also? So, how can people help? Wow, <laughs> there is so many, so many ways you can help. In your house, you can start deciding what you're going to buy. If something you don't really need, don't buy it. 
if something is coming in so much plastic or you can separate it and you can look where to recycle you can give to us one thing other thing you can come and help us <laughs> it's very easy to use the rack for cleaning that is a good one other uh, we want to do educational programs for children so if you have any idea we want to go to your school uh, to your neighborhood to your building and we can talk about these things uh, third you can help us to support our labors yeah we we need them to do this service so uh, we are able to pay them because of the boat is helping us giving some small donations to support them and fourth we want to have a factory one day <laughs> that is a long term but in the short term we would like to have a low tech uh, low, te low technology factory to be able to recycle all this plastic and make things like you know like bricks we can make out of this rejected plastic we can make bricks we can make uh, wood instead of cutting the trees we can make these things for construction I love my apple. So this plastic, this is not burning, okay? A plastic, a kasra, felbena. Plastic, a gonjala bena. Plastic, bosta packing korbe, ama kirdebe. Ekane, side. Okay, probuji bangla. We're very thankful for Murari Muhini Mataji starting to clean the mess which is sitting there since months or even years. We hope that everybody gets a better understanding of how to deal with the garbage and that soon a proper system will be available in Sridhar Mayapur. <laughs>